This past year, the business community has been complaining of a foreign exchange shortage. Many of them have said it reached to such a stage that they could not even get U.S. dollars to pay their international suppliers. In fact, the president of the Shigonis Chamber of Industry and Commerce is saying the situation is far from being rectified. He wants the banks and the central bank to find a solution. In a bid to ease the shortage, the central bank has sold over U.S. $1 billion to the banking system for this year. But even that has not helped. Some banks are limiting customers, business customers that is, to 3,000 U.S. per week. That's if you're lucky. With central bank governor Joala Rambaran is tonight firing back at the business community for this problem. He told businessmen from the Shigonis Chamber that the foreign exchange issue has turned into a murky matter by some with agendas and others who pretend to be ignorant on how the system actually works. He had some advice for such businessmen. I do have one tip for some businesses trying to get foreign exchange. It helps if you don't conduct business with companies with terrorist links, as we have very strict laws on anti-money laundering. Governor Rambaran says there are those who want the foreign exchange for legitimate demands, and then there are those who are hoarding. When the money is provided through our intervention, the funds are promptly deposited in their foreign currency accounts and left unused. One Chigonis businessman then asked the central bank governor to intervene and solve the problem so that they won't all have to pay the price. You are saying that they're taking the money and putting it in a private account and that, that is depriving the, 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 the turnaround of the money to generate business and opportunities and employment. So what can you do about that? So why you not talk to your um, colleagues? My moral, suasion, my, my moral suasion is on the banking system, not you, the businessman. You talk to your colleagues about their behavior and how their behavior is affecting you and the rest of your colleagues who want, who legitimately want U.S. dollars. The foreign exchange reserves presently stand at U.S. $11 billion. I will not be the governor who ran down the country's reserves to make everyone happy. The central bank governor says the bulk of foreign exchange goes towards credit card purchases. For 2013 and 2014, U.S. $1 billion was spent on foreign credit card purchases. Another area is the sale of new cars, mainly high-end luxury vehicles, amounting to U.S. $205 million so far for 2014. Judy Kanhai, CNC3, Port of Spain.